Earlier this year, the U.S. state of Virginia passed and signed into law a bill requiring school textbooks to refer to the body of water between Korea and Japan as the Korean name East Sea, as well as Sea of Japan. Delegate Mark Keem helped lead this historic change, and he sat down with our Hwang Sang-hee during a recent trip to Seoul. When they saw that name designated in a way that brings back those historic inaccuracies, they realized that the best thing that they could do is ask for a redress of this body here. He led the efforts to let the students in the U.S. state of Virginia know that the body of water between Korea and Japan is not only known as the Sea of Japan, but also the East Sea. Despite criticisms that a global issue had waded into local politics and into school textbooks, Virginia House District Delegate Mark Keem said the bill was a domestic issue. Korea and U.S. is uh, building and in increasing our trade opportunities. If you have Virginia kids growing up and uh, possibly having a job that allows them to travel to Korea, we want them to understand there are some disputes. We don't want them walking in blindly and finding out that they are taught one version when they're dealing with uh, Korean business people. The bill, which was passed and signed into law earlier this year, was a small victory for Korea in a centuries-old feud with Japan. Kim does not plan to introduce more history-related bills but says a similar campaign can always be replicated. So many issues that we deal with in America, we need Korean American voices there. And right now that's not being heard. So I'm hoping that this experience of uh, passing the EC bill will give them that motivation and a roadmap to say this is exactly what we want to do. We're going to go to our government and redress our grievances with them the way the Constitution promises it. The Korean community is growing. I think its number is somewhere around 2 million. How can we get a more prominent presence in the U.S.? We don't have anybody in Congress that's advocating for peace reunification, hostility to be withdrawn in North Korea, human rights issues that are happening. Nobody who's of our background speaking on those issues in Washington, D.C. So I think unless and until we have Korean Americans that are affecting our policies at the national level, I don't think we can say that we're quite there yet. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.